the hex bar deadlift, an athlete's favorite. What you're going to notice here, different than a conventional deadlift or a sumo deadlift, is that I'm actually stepping into the bar due to its hexagonal shape. Now what you're going to notice as well is that we're not utilizing a hip hinge movement pattern like we would on a conventional deadlift or a sumo deadlift. Rather, we are actually squatting down to the bar and ensuring that we are pressing the earth away from us or pressing the earth away with our quadriceps. In the diagram there, you can see that the red highlighted areas are the muscles that are worked on a hex bar deadlift. Moving forward, we're going to go into upper body setup of this movement pattern. Now, the same applies with a trap bar deadlift or a hex bar deadlift, um, similarly to that of a sumo deadlift and a conventional deadlift in that you are always actively trying to drive your humerus backwards as a means to depress and retract the scapula, which keeps the upper back in a neutral position which allows your sternum to stay upright and places you in a position where you're less likely to potentially injure your back. Thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.